All right, now we got our new alternator. We'll make sure this this little bolt right here is all the way out. See so if you can see it's not it's flush with the side, so that when you slide it onto your bracket, it'll be easy to get on. And when you tighten it up, this will slide in and tighten everything up. All right, we got the alternator in, and I just want to let you know that when you put your bolts back in, make sure all your bolts are in before you tighten anything up especially the bottom bolt because if you put this top one in and then tighten it you're gonna have a hard time getting your bottom bolt in so make sure all your bolts in before you tighten everything up all right we got our top bolt in and our bottom bolt in make sure they're good and tight the next step is just to put everything back together put your put your uh, your bracket back on that hole right there your bracket for your O2 sensor connectors put your charge wire back on Plug in your connector, and then put your uh, your dipstick to uh, dipstick two back in, and then recon reconnect your battery after you're all done. That should be your last step right there. All right, folks, we got our wires hooked up. We got our O2 sensor wires hooked up. And yeah, be careful. Sometimes when these cars get old, the plastic on these connectors gets old and brittle from the heat, and they break. So I just got to get me a a zip tie and I'll zip tie it right back to that bracket right there and then uh, make sure your connectors on there and then we got to put our dipstick back in you can uh, get it in the hole there put our dipstick back on last step is to uh, connect your battery and your and your belt but I want to show you right here I don't know if you can see it or not there's a wire that runs down here and there's a small metal bracket that that wire fits in you want to make sure that that wire fits inside that little bracket right there little guide and it goes in behind in behind this water pump or this uh, alternator bracket that fits right in between there there's enough room for it but that helps hold it and keep it away from this pulley because when this pulley spins it'll cut a, it'll cut into that wire you don't want that to happen so make sure that wires inside that groove <laughs> 